Hi guys, so as you can see from the title, this is going to be my everyday makeup tutorial. I thought I, well I did film this on New Year's Eve and it was meant to be up way before this but for some reason I just can't get it off my phone, it won't download onto the computer at all, it says there's an error so I'm having to redo it again and I'm doing it on the flip camera so hopefully, fingers crossed, this time it should work. So let me get started. So the first thing I do is use my foundation and this is the most important step for me because as you can see I don't have perfect skin and I have a spot right here today which is typical when I knew I was going to film a video and I have quite a lot of acne scarring because I have struggled with acne for quite a few years now. It's not too bad at the moment, I'm just left with the scars and redness. So the foundation I use is the Clarins Everlasting Foundation. And this is amazing, I absolutely love it, it's my holy grail foundation. It's better than Estee Lauder Double Wear, I think, because it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't... With Estee Lauder Double Wear, I feel like it always feels tacky and the moment I get hot, it just starts to feel really gross and I just want to take it off. This doesn't feel like you have anything on, so I absolutely love it. And it's going to look a little bit darker than my skin tone because I didn't use my gradual moisturiser. I haven't used it for a couple of days. And this foundation is in the colour 110 Honey and it's perfect for when I have used my gradual tanner. But if I haven't, it does make me look slightly orange, so sorry about that. So I just pop that on with my Real Techniques stippling brush. I absolutely love this brush. It gives a flawless finish. So I just take two pumps and spread that out evenly all over my face and then I go back in where I need more coverage and build up with it. With the foundation, I don't actually use a concealer on my actual face, only under my eyes. And always blend it into my ears and my neck, especially when I haven't used my moisturiser. And I'm still in my dressing gown, if you can tell, because it's a Saturday and we don't tend to do much at the weekends. Warren's at football. Um, so I'm just home with Sienna. She's sleeping, so I thought I'd just quickly get this done. I don't really put much on my forehead, just whatever's left on the brush when I've done the rest of my face because no one really sees it and it doesn't tend to be too bad. So so then I will just take half a pump or a whole pump again and just really stipple it onto my chin as that's my main area I want to cover. So I'm just building the coverage back up. Now if I was going out for like a night out or something I might use a concealer on my face. However I don't for general day to day because I haven't yet found a concealer that doesn't break me out. I've tried every single one and they all seem to break me out or they just look really cakey or I just don't like them so that's why I don't use one sort of day to day. Then underneath my eyes I'm going to use the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. This one is in light number 2. Just pop that under my eyes to lighten and brighten. Um, my daily makeup is all about just looking fresh faced, awake and you know not like I have an 8 week old baby. So all the eye makeup is sort of using brightening of techniques to make my eyes look brighter and bigger. So that's my concealer done and then I just set all of that with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil powder. This is great for sort of concealing any pores or anything you, you might have like that and I just take the, exactly the same brush and just dab that onto my T-zone. where I am most oily. Just like that. Now if I had used my gradual moisturiser, I would now use a bronzer on a big 
fluffy brush this is the bare minerals full flawless face brush and i would just use that to contour my cheekbones and a little bit all over but when i haven't used my moisturizer the foundation looks quite orange anyway so i don't want to then bronze my face as well and look even more orange so i'm just going to take my collection 2000 blusher in bashful it's just the perfect everyday color and also doubles up as my highlight so it's really quick and easy and i just pop that on the tops of my cheekbones a little bit up to my temples and then on the apples of my cheek just to give me a bit of healthy glow and colour. I then go in with the full flawless face brush and just buff that in just to make sure everything's blended nicely and there's no sort of harsh lines or anything. So now all of my base makeup is done I just sort of wipe the foundation off my lips because I hate having foundation over my lips it always goes white and sort of scummy which is really gross um, so wipe the foundation off and then I'm just going to apply some regular Vaseline just to soften my lips before I apply lip gloss so that can just soak in while I do my eyes so as you might be able to see my lips are so horrible and cracked and dry which is not nice. Okay, so next I do my eyebrows and I use the Avon Perfect Eyebrow Pencil. And I know you can't really see my eyebrows because of my fringe, but it always makes a difference just giving them a little bit of shape. And they are completely the opposite shapes as well, so I just like them to match a little bit. Just so, you know, when you're walking, if the wind sweeps my fringe off my face, I don't have two completely odd eyebrows because that does look a bit weird. So I'm just going to quickly fill those in a tiny bit. I really need to get HD brows because I've always struggled with my brows. One of them grows a lot and one of them just doesn't grow at all so I need to get some um, growing stuff for my eyebrows really. And then I just scream through them just to sort of soften the ends. And I know they don't match. They are ridiculous. <laughs> so anyway, that's done. Good job people can't see them. Okay, now the next step I use, if I was knowing I'm going to be out all day long or going for a night out, I would use an eye primer, eyelid primer. But I don't for general day to day because I think my eyeshadow stays on pretty well anyway. So I'm just going to take the Makeup Academy eyeshadow palette in Heaven and Earth and I'm going to take this super light gold colour here and it's very shimmery, I love this colour and I'm just going to use a Ruby and Millie eyeshadow brush and it looks like this and it's got a little point on the end, I don't know if you can see that but it just fits really well into the tear duct so it's just good for sweeping all over the lid and getting it in the tear duct really quickly quick nice and easy because us mums do not have a lot of time to do our makeup so i really make sure i get it right in here this is what really brightens my eyes the most and it picks up especially well in photos that in a corner of your eyes makes you look really awake so I never skip that step so I've just sweeped that all the way across and just blended it into the crease and I also put a little bit just under my brow bone again not many people see it but it does pick up in photos if my friend is not quite right so that's eyeshadow completely done now all I do is use um, a liquid liner this is the Rimmel Glamise liquid eyeliner and just apply quite a thin line of that because when I open my eyes my eyelids are quite hooded so 
if I put too thick a line you can't see any of the eyeshadow at all so just a little thin line to define my lash line. Just like that. Just defines the eye and makes it look a little bit bigger. There we go, so I think they match pretty well. And now I need to wait for that to dry because when I use my eyelash curlers it will all come off. So while I wait for that to dry I'm just again going to take my eyebrow pencil and just use this a little bit smudged along the lower lash line. I use my eyebrow pencil purely because I'm quite lazy and this is easy. I don't know why I always forget to do it when I'm recording a video but normally I do my eyebrows and then I just quickly do this first but I always forget so I don't have to fuss around with different coloured eyeshadows or anything like that and again this just helps open the eye because it makes the eye seem sort of longer this way and also helps define the eye as well and then a last sort of no. and then on the waterline I take my scandalize eyeliner in nude and this is again great for opening and brightening the eye just pop it along the waterline and it takes all of the redness out so it really helps if you've been up all night and your eyes are sort of puffy and red There, can you see? It just makes it look brighter and more awake and just a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I curl my eyelashes. These are just the Model Zone eyelash curlers. I really want the Shumura ones or the Chanel ones. I'm going to have to invest in those because my eyelashes are awful. So again, this is a great tip for just opening the eyes, um, so always make sure you curl your lashes if you don't have, you know, pretty curly long lashes anyway. And because my eyelashes are so rubbish, I have to use a sort of primer on them to help thicken them and lengthen them without them clumping and looking horrendous. So I use the Clarins Double Fix Mascara and this is actually a waterproofing seal for lashes and eyebrows. So you're supposed to put it over the top of your eyeshadow pencil or powder and over the top of your mascara to make it waterproof. But I find it really good underneath my mascara just to sort of prime my lashes. So I'm going to do one eye and then the other so you can see how much difference mascara makes. Although I'm sure you probably already know. So then I use the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara. really sort of wiggle the brush, really get it into the roots to help thicken your lashes. So 
So there we go, that's with the mascara. This is my good eye for lashes, so this one is not going to be as great. But I'll go ahead and do that. So there we go, there is both eyes done. Okay, so now all that's left is lips, and it's really simple. I just use a lip gloss because it's easy to use throughout the day. I don't have to worry about it looking weird if it comes off like a red lipstick, looking patchy. It's really easy to apply without a mirror, and I just really don't have to worry about it. So this is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Punch Bowl. It's just a really nice pink. And I just apply that straight on top of my Vaseline. Absolutely love this lip gloss. And there we have it, that is my everyday, fresh and awake, bright eyed makeup look and it's pretty much the look I do every day. This might be one of a series because I do sort of change it up each day with maybe one or two products so if you're interested in sort of seeing those let me know and I can do those for you. So I hope you're having a good weekend and sorry this was so late. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram for sort of outfit of the days and pictures of Sienna and what we're getting up to. And I'm also now trying to get my body back. So I'm doing a getting my body back series which I will be making a video on. So go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to sort of um, keep up with all of that and that video will be coming next so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, I hope you subscribe and thumbs up and everything and I'll see you in my next video.